寄せ江戸天聖Make sure I go ahead and check out our Patreon for exclusive access to full length reactions and some exclusive reactions that don't even hit YouTube. Make sure I go ahead and click that link. Appreciate y'all and back to your record schedule program. What's going on, y'all? It's Free Animation, boy, Sherm, aka Sherm Kage. We got Terrence, the man with the do-right plan, uniform on his body. My man's got the monkey suit on today. We are back with another reaction video. We are here with Tact Op Destiny, episode number five. We're going to see where this anime is going, where we at. We in the past still. Uh, last time on Tact Op, we saw, um, what the fuck is it? Lenny Kravitz part ways with them and shit. You know what I'm saying? So Lenny Kravitz <laughs> left with uh, Titan. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. American woman! <laughs> <You're trying. laughs> Stay away from me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we saw that happen. So they parted ways. Um, and I imagine that our company is going to go to New York and, and try to see what's going on. We also saw that um, Destiny was trying to basically learn uh, how to aim, how to use her abilities more effectively. So she uh, proposition Titan, like, hey, how are you doing this? How are you doing that? And she was like, it's simple. It's basically dependent upon your conductor. You know what I'm saying? We're just a music hall. We're the instrument. The conductor is the one that plays us. They ultimately determine what, what we do, uh, whether we miss, whether we hit, etc. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And they uncovered some, like, conspiracy plot and some casino and shit. Yeah. But, yeah. I was about to say, this episode five, this will definitely... I was saying this earlier, when, like when we first started watching it. Like by, by episode five, we'll know if it's that the story's actually good or if they sacrificed mm -hmm. everything for the way it looks. Right. So, so this episode should be so it's Madhouse, Mappa, Madhouse, Mappa. So this should be Madhouse again. So mm -hmm. we'll see what Madhouse did this week. You ready, brother? I'm ready. Let's do it to it. Episode five. Equitation Valkyrie. That's interesting. an interesting title. All right. Got a crystal? September 9th, 2047. They off the grid, 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 grid. <laughs> Damn. Noni? Uh, yeah? I don't think it's a Ouija board instead, sir. <laughs> I'm assuming that check this there is a music card. Quite possible. <laughs> we destroy them. That's what that smug blurk said. We'll kill them niggas, basically. <laughs> this is definitely the start of Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> what the hell? I hate them fucking scissor jacks, bro. 100%. You got a spare shorty? <laughs> she about to get pricked. I wouldn't test that look. No. <laughs> it's for self-defense. I never realized how big cacti were until I actually went. Oh! Yeah. Damn! Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> the cactus? Bitch, my arm. <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of crispy. Damn. Wow. <laughs> my leg. <laughs> Bro, Cuz was just roaming around. He won't do his shit. He's out in the open. Right. My chest. Bro, he won't do nothing. Ooh. They went crazy right here. Buddy was big chilling. All right, bitch, get my arm back. You ain't had to do Two. Cuz like that. Hey, it's about to hit her. Move. When did they get the tire on? Realism. <laughs> Like, how long did this sequence take just now? Because putting the tower on by itself takes at least five minutes. Oh, who are you? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? In the train. Is that nigga? Yep. <laughs> Commander Swindler. <laughs> what are the chances? 
We're going to New Orleans too. Oh, and the South of New Orleans. What about our car? Nice. Now how'd they get it up there? <laughs> Realism. Real. So who's her conductor? Does he have two? I don't think they said that she was one of them. True. She does look like one. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's sweet, ain't it? Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If y'all want to know what Terrence is like when he eat, boom. Facts. <laughs> Especially throw some fun in my face. Is that the train squeaking like that? Sounded like it. She died, then she showed, then this one showed up. <laughs> you insolent. Oh. We'll talk later. So they're transporting that crystal. What if I gotta pee? Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's exactly how you were sitting, too. All right. <laughs> it's talked. Damn. Damn. I sense a D2. A lot of. Bitch! Stop stealing my arm! <laughs> Always. Damn! They're going after the car? Nice. You missed. Probably my thumbnail. Oh, got it. That was a good one, though. I got the bats out in the bag. Oh, nice. She got some moves. Yeah. She a soldier type. You ain't stopped me, though. Right. Quite easily, actually. Right. Now dance to the tune of my beat. Okay, she is a music card. So who's who's your music card? Not music card, but a conductor. Yeah, that'll be interesting to find out. Did that shit ricochet just now? It looks like oh wow! Look at her trying to be Captain America. <laughs> I am Captain Frost. <laughs> Damn. Damn! Point blank. What y'all pumping the brakes for? <laughs> Damn. Oh, I see why. Two. You're like an honor boy, boy. God damn. If you're gonna have the angle, at least make it be nice. <laughs> right. They got a construction crew on the train. Clearly, they don't know how to operate the train. But a construction crew? Unless they call them up to that location. And we did a little like two hour time skip. Bitch, do better. <laughs> right. Put them things up. What, I gotta give her an apple? Hey, yo. Mm. That would be fire if he had two, though. Very kawaii. Now get out my face. <laughs> Who told you you could touch me? <laughs> she said I do bite, by the way. <laughs> Who are you, Itachi? <laughs> I refuse. He pretentious pr He like one of the royals from Black Clover. <laughs> I sense a D2. <laughs> oh my god! Shit. They're drawn to the train. They have to be. That fucking crystal on there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Take my arm. 
I'm about to say, Shorty, you want to help? Mm. There you go. Sheesh. They're going crazy. That'd be tough if you could get two at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, he running out of shit real quick. <laughs> she just unfazed. <laughs> Hmm. So what are you finna do? Where's the big boy at? You gonna break break the uh, candy? That's everything you got? Just shut up and observe. Nice. Arigato. Is it? Nice. He has potential. Now the commander gonna have her act up, right? I lied. And so have I. God damn. Okay, look at that. We got the D2 train arc. Is that supposed to be Valkyrie? It does seem like a Valkyrie, actually, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Kawa! <laughs> she is Sundere. <laughs> the whole time. Dude. God damn! That's a thick ass boy! Look at the way she's looking, she's like, oh shit. Let oh, me she's about to. Hell? What the hell? She got Heelys on? He definitely has Heelys on. <laughs> oh, they sharp. That shit kind of crazy. She gonna split that shit in half? Mm -hmm. All right, Lucio. Damn! You strong ass leg, bitch. Oh! Okay, she kind of crazy. Damn. Yeah, she's just busting up. No bullshit. Sheesh. She a problem. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all. Damn. Toss it to the side like a nut rag. Not nut. You need to get a collar for that straight dog. Watch your fucking mouth, yo. <laughs> Join us. Nah. A position suited to you. <laughs> Go ahead, stand your ground, Noctis. This is Final Fantasy XV, the musical. She look crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I figured he was going to be a little bit more forceful than that. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm asleep. Wait, he tapping in the sleep? It'd be crazy if some D2s heard that shit like, hey, shut that shit up. <laughs> I hear you having fun. <laughs> you ain't convinced nobody but yourself. Right. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, all right. That looks like that is it. Brother Terrence, how you feel? Episode 5 of Tact Opus Destiny. Uh, that was a cool, cool little episode. Um... Get to see more music arts. You get to see Valkyrie and Hell. Yeah, Valkyrie and Hell. Yeah. Yeah. Valkyrie in Hell. My bad. But nah, that shit was dope. I fuck with it. That shit was dope. Um, Delphi, obviously, animation was fucking fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be expected. Um, Still don't know what the actual linear story is. Is. I mean, the story. I mean, the story seems good. I mean, the, the, the linear story is established. It's like, okay, there's the there is symphonic the or whatever. The they make the music arts. They are bonded to a conductor. Their whole purpose is to fight against the D twos. The D two showed up on the planet from an asteroid or some shit that had these crystals on it, and then there were crystals that then were able to be used to bring powers, which insert the music arts. So the D twos pop up in this music. 
they go destroy the D2s, they try to destroy the D2s, and the world is in turmoil because of the D2s, and their whole objective is to eliminate the threat as much as possible when they can, and they're trying to get to New York to figure out what the fuck is going on with Destiny, or previously Cosset. Yeah, okay, maybe I just worded that in a really wrong way, because, yeah, right, they did, you know, explain that stuff, but, like... Now, if you're not satisfied with the story, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, which, honestly, stuff like this, I don't really mind, because, like, Demon Slayer is the same way. Like, the story for Demon Slayer is not expansive. There's not all these mysteries going on. It's a clear-cut objective. Demon Slayer is an entitled. Yeah, Slay demons. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's clear-cut. You know what you're doing. You know why you're doing it. You know what you're doing it for. You know who the big bad is. You know who the big good is, which would be their... The blind guy. I can't think of his name. Neji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember his name. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but in this one, I mean, you don't necessarily know who the big bad is. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah you do know. We need... There's no, there's no like, there's there's, no... from what I understand, there's no like centralized brain and plot behind the D2s. The D2s are just beings that came on the planet from this there. asteroid and they just fuck shit up. There's no like, you know, puppet master or anything like that. I don't think this is that type of anime where somebody behind the scenes pulling the strings or anything like that. Aside from, obviously, the good people, you know, there's people within the good people that want to control and uh, the music hence, hence the, yeah, the music cards and just, I would assume the world, like hence, you know, the commander, uh, whatever his name is, Commander mm-hmm. Dickhead, uh, was basically saying like, okay, well, I'm margin in charge. I'm basically going to delegate who does what. You guys can't do anything without my you know, explicit approval, essentially, that's what it sounds like, so, yeah, excuse me, mm-hmm. um, maybe just because I'm tired right now, I don't know, it could be because you're tired, who knows, man, I mean, it, like I said, it, it wasn't necessarily bad, yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it, I think the, I don't mind where the story's going, because like I said, it's clear, cut, for the most part, it's, it's relatively clear, based off what we've seen so far, um, they have an objective, it's like, okay, we have to get to New York, to see if we can return Kasa to a previous state or, you know, what the fuck is going on with, you know, Destiny. And I feel like that's going to be a trap in and of itself because when they do go to New York, we saw already somebody that's higher up is trying to control them and, and it's like, oh, there's somebody that isn't in our record, so we have to do something about that. We have to get them under our control. Mm-hmm. They can't be free to do whatever the fuck they please. So when they get to New York, I feel like they're going to take them in as test subjects and be like, okay, what makes them tick, how are they able to do this, that, and a third, and they basically become enslaved when they get to where they're trying to go. That's how where I see it going, at least. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I can, I can see it going that route, too, because Commander, you know, he was a little he was a little bitch. He's like, <laughs> you told me no. I won't forget you. <laughs> how dare you tell me no? Nobody tells me no. Like, uh, Not even myself. I say, you don't got no fight in you, dog? Like, no. Right. He's like, if I want it, I must have it. But yeah, nah, I liked it though. It was, it was a good episode. Mm-hmm. And it was definitely interesting seeing like the different music cards. The fact that a music card cannot have a conductor um, or not be bonded to a conductor, excuse me. I thought they were like raised in a facility. You know what I'm saying? Like Petri dish babies? Pretty much. Like the conductor is there and then they force the creation of a, or the awakening of a music card and then they forcefully bond or make a music art bond with a uh, conductor. Like, that's why I thought the direction was going with it, but... I mean, it's still I good. guess not. I guess there's some that just don't have conductors. Whether or not the conductor died, or whether or not they just hadn't found one that was suitable, I don't know. Because so. then... I mean, I, I, I think it could still be both, because it still could be, okay, eventually people caught on to what um, a music art is, mm-hmm. and they know how to bond them, but just like how... Uh, Destiny bonded with Corset? 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 Destiny? No, or is it the other way around? I might got it the other way around. Um, shit, what's her name? Co- 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 well, De- Destiny is who Corset is now. Yes, Corset, yes. Corset is dead. Like, she's gone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so I can't... I'm, I was the only reason Corset awoke within her was because she died. And that was now an empty vessel. But since that crystal was around her neck... That crystal contained Destiny, and Destiny assumed yeah, that's what, her well, form. That's she didn't bond trying, with her. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. say. Like maybe at some point in some junction, whoever passed died, whatever, and it just so happens that some piece of the 
music carts were just around them in the area. And they're mm. like, oh, here's a body for me to snatch real quick. So in the facility, you think they had the crystals and they would forcefully kill people and then let the, the crystal assume their body? No, not, not that per se, but... Okay, so I'm thinking that, okay, they have a facility where they're forcibly bonding them somehow, not necessarily killing them, but um, I'm trying to think of another anime where they got to sound like, sound like a, a, a contract to be like, oh, I'm... Door to door. <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm your master and you're my familiar companion, whatever you want to call it. And then you got the free range just out roaming around who they just so happen to be at the right place at the right time when somebody actually died and fell and that's when they snagged up the body. That's when they became, that's why they're, you know, the music cars that don't have conductors or they're, they're the music car and conductors who aren't necessarily uh, registered, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think maybe I confused you when I said bonding because the, the bonding, at least the way they explained it, happens between the conductor and the music cart, not the music cart and the vessel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So however the fuck the music carts get created at their facility, I don't know. Whether that's like from inhumane means where they literally will kill somebody and let the music cart, you know, assume their form. And by the way, every music cart we've seen has been a female so far. So is that one of the criteria, like they have to be a, a, a female to be a music cart or can a male be a music cart as well? Because we've only seen Cassette or Destiny, we've seen Titan and we've seen right. Hell, and then we saw uh, Walkerie. So yeah, they're all, yeah, right. they're all, they've all been female I, so I, far. I had to think about that. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. it just leads you to think, okay, well, is, is, is that like a criteria? Like you have to be a woman or is it like, can you be a male? Like, what is it? So more to come on that. We will find out. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to see, though. Yeah, brother. That's all I got, man. Interesting. Interesting episode. We got some more plot points to ponder on, for sure. Mm-hmm. Random. What would be interesting is if, like, the music cards had the names of, like, the famous like, composers or something like that. Mm. Random. Just... Because I know, like, a lot of anime takes a lot of um, aspects from religious... Or religion... Mm-hmm. religion yeah. mythology all yeah, that mythology, stuff, stuff yep. like that and in, in the anime about music I me this is me being me I, I would thought it would be cool to have like the music cards be named after oh you have Mozart you have Van not Van Gogh um, yeah, that was a painter yeah, I, don't, I don't know why I said Van Gogh <laughs> you have Mozart you got um say some random Marvin Gaye type, you know just something <laughs> yeah, crazy I don't, I don't know many you know, classical artists aside from Mozart honestly like I, I I'm not a, a ma- uh, what the fuck is the word I'm looking for I'm not a aficionado for classical music so I don't know all the composers and all the pieces of work that were composed of, across the 1600s 1500s however long you know what I'm saying uh, I think what Mozart was like late 1700s early 1800s I think so yeah I don't know why I say Van Gogh that's gonna, that's gonna bug me <laughs> You just, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. That's that's all. I'm just sleepy. Forgive him. He's tired. He got military brain right now. <laughs> I got depression right now. That's what the fuck I got. Oh, I'm lying. I don't have depression right now. Well, say, bro, lay down, bro. We we'll do a therapy session. I pull up a chair. You know what I'm saying? I pull up my note, my my pen, and my my notepad. We'll we'll get to the bottom of your problems. Sheesh. So what's bothering you today? Okay, okay. And how did that make I'm you feel? Made me feel going upside somebody's head. Shit. Oh. They said your weight. You said they said you want to spin him. Like, no, nah, they would never say that. Oh, I, I work. How could I they? work? I work with a bunch of white people. They, they, How could they? They wouldn't. No. They wouldn't. They never. They know. wouldn't understand. They wouldn't <laughs> tell me that neither. They wouldn't, <laughs> they wouldn't tell me that. But yeah, no. I mean, they they have like the the music from like Mozart. Like they had some yeah. of his compositions in here. But mm-hmm. it would be dope to see like music arts named after like a, a composer. That would be fire. Yeah, for sure. That would just be like a small detail. Cause like I said, they always have anime. Always take aspects from religion, culture, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and they always add that in, tie it in. Some, even JoJo's, they got pop pop references and religious. Yeah, know, that's like JoJo stuff. staple. Like They'll literally name a stand after a band, you know what I'm saying, after a song. I mean, whatever the case may be, a, a person, you know what I'm saying. So Yeah, that's, that's just something <laughs> Like Notorious B.I.G. Yes. <laughs> that's just something I've always liked about anime in general, how they take aspects from real life and mm-hmm. incorporate it into anime and it's typically tied in very well yeah it's just no it's dope it's, it's even better when you actually recognize the reference to it. it's like yeah. oh i know that like that's that's fire that's dope that they did that and it's kind of just like a 
like an aha moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like you feel like you can kind of relate to the author. You feel like the author relates to you culturally and to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Because like, okay, you recognize something from my culture, whether it be pop culture or my religion or my lifestyle, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, because I was definitely thrown off because. They were like, one is named Titan. Like, okay. I'm, random as fuck. <laughs> ran, random or it could be a nod to Greek mythology with, you know, the Titans and the gods. And then you get Valkyrie. Mm. Like, okay, that's Norse mythology. You right. got Hell, which, I mean, I could be regular. Christian. It could be Christianity. Yeah. It could also be Norse religion or Norse mythology, Helheim. And yeah. Stuff like that. Or you could relate to, like, Hades. You yeah, know Hades. Saying, like, so. maybe, like, it's Greek. all over the place. But, you know. Like I said, small detail. Maybe it's just me being picky. I don't know. <laughs> nah, nah, absolutely not. It'd definitely be interesting to see. And like you said, there's just, you're trying to, you're starting to wonder, okay, well, what does one have to do with the other? Like, mm-hmm. Destiny is random. Yeah, just trying to connect. Titan is random. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Valkyrie and Hell, you can kind of draw some type of connection between Connection, the two. right. Some type of, you know, correlation. But mm-hmm. yeah. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's all I got, brother. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else? Yep. You ready to get out of this uniform, get back home, man. Go ahead, take you a nice warm shower, man. Get you some tea porter, get you some food, some 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 yum yums in your tum tum. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait for the yum yums and the tum tums. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all make sure I go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, and so y'all thought about this week's episode of Tact Opus Destiny. We'll be back next week with episode number six. Yeah, six. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Hit that link to down description below for all of our latest links to the channel. Hit that into the AM link as well for a 10% off store wise promo code RAM and 10. And make sure you fucking thank Terrence for the service, all right? This man no, pulled up no, after no, pulling up a uniform, no, you know what I'm saying? No, Had a no. long day at work. Thank him for his service. Do not Make sure you me. salute when you do you, it, too. You bet. You, oh, you bet not. <laughs> yeah, man, I appreciate you.